Maxime Bernier was in Lloydminster on Sunday night as part of his tour across Alberta. The PPC leader is spending a lot of time in rural western communities hoping to win the party's first seat, but he's also hoping for breakthroughs across Canada. Uh, in Alberta we have a lot of support, uh, but also in Ontario. I'll be in Ontario this week and uh, I was surprised the support that we had when I was in New Brunswick also. So I believe that it is not only uh, former conservative voters that are supporting us. Uh, you know, in Atlantic Canada, people who voted Liberals are coming with us. Bernier believes this election should be a referendum on COVID restrictions and vaccine passports. He says while the Conservatives have not come out in support of a national vaccine passport, there still isn't much separation between the Liberals and the Conservatives. Yeah, we are the only national political party that is ready to fight to gain back our freedoms because, as you know, our freedoms are under attack in this country with uh, mass mandate, with uh, vaccine passport. We believe in freedom, freedom of choice. Everybody must be able to decide if they want to wear a mask or not, or if they want to take the vaccine or not, with the right information and informed consent. And uh, O'Toole, Trudeau, and all the other establishment politicians are for imposing uh, COVID-19 vaccine all across the country. In the People's Party's first election in 2019, the party didn't win a seat. And in both Lloydminster ridings, the PPC received around 2% of the vote. The party is hoping to build on that in this election and into the next. It took 20 years and six elections for the Green Party of Canada to have more than 1.6% of the vote. We did that our first year. Now we are growing and this election is an important step for the People's Party of Canada. We increase our percentage of, of the vote and we'll have some of our candidates that will be elected and we will, we will start that conversation in Ottawa, that common sense and freedom conversation and we'll ask the real question and we'll fight for our freedom in Parliament. We'll use all the parliamentary tools to to, to be able to do that fight and that that would be the beginning of a common sense revolution in this country. For Primetime Local News, I'm Jace Mackey.